so guys you can see the toggle switch is on the left so the left led is on now it's in the center the center led is on now it is on the right the right led is on see i am using single toggle switch to do three tasks again center again left see now let me show you the coding behind it simple it is very simple you can see that i had initialized the two buttons then i initialized the three leds then what i did is that i checked for the first button that is the left if the toggle is on the left then the only left led turns on rest two are off similarly when it is on the right the right led is on rest two are off and then when it is at none like else else if it is not on the left not on the right then the toggle switch is in the center then the center led is on simple as that so this programming gives us this result hello guys welcome to learning microcontrollers in this video i will show you how you can interface a pic 16 f 877 a microcontroller with a three pin toggle switch and then we will be using leds to for the demonstration purpose and the compiler we are going to use is the micro c for pic so let's get started so guys this is our pic 16 f 877 a microcontroller in a dip version it is also available in the SMD version as well. As you can see, it has 40 pins, 20 on the left and 20 on the right. And this is the toggle switch I'm talking about. It is, sorry for being on the two left. I hope you guys can see. It has only three pins. Let me label them. I label the center pin as a VCC, the left one as a signal and the right one as a signal too. Because I'm going to connect this button in a way that whenever a toggle is switched, it will send a one. And once it's in center, it will send a zero. Now, this is the labeling I did for my ease. You can also follow in the same labeling for your ease as well. So, remember that the right side, it toggles, is totally independent from the left side. So, you can take a different, uh, you can do a different task on the right side. And you can do a different task on the left pin. So, these both two pins are different. So, that's the beauty of this toggle switch. So, let's do it's like a two push buttons in a single uh, steel body switch it is equal to two buttons see we can do two different tasks using this button so center is the common and the left is a different signal and right is a different signal now let me show you how you can connect it with a pick to connect it with a pick you just connect the center pin that i named as the vcc pin with the vcc pin of the pick like this or the five volt pin of the pick like this then guys for the signal pins you will need a 10 kilo ohm resistor for each like you do for a normal button it is either a pull up resistor or a pull down, down resistor in my case it will be connected in such a way that whenever a pin is toggled either the right signal or the left signal a one will be sent to the pick and we will select the pin on which it should send the one now guys let's do the connections you connect the right signal pin to the one end of the 10 k ohm resistor for that pin like this and then guys for the left signal pin you connect it to the uh, second 10 kilo ohm resistance one pin like this now guys you common the other end of both the 10 kilo ohm resistance then send it to the common ground like this now guys from the signal pin you will take out your output now for the first of all i do it for the right signal signal pin just the point from the same pin you just take out your output you can use any available digital input output pin of your pick I'm going to use a pin number C1, that is pin number 16. Now for the left signal pin, I'm going to use a pin number C3, that is pin number 18. You can use any other pin, just you will do different programming. You will change the labels in the programming. And if you have a different variant of the PIC 16 fa 7 a or a, any other PIC microcontroller, then all you have to do is only to change the pin configuration in the programming. Rest will be exactly the same. Now in this way, our toggle switch is connected. Now for the output purpose, I'm going to use three LEDs. So this is work in this is going to work in such a way that when the toggle switch is on the left, the left LED will turn on. When the toggle switch will be in the center, the center LED will turn on. And when the toggle switch is on the right, the right LED will turn on. So we can use a single toggle switch, three pin toggle switch to do three separate tasks. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate here. Each LED represents a simple task. So when you will integrate this into your code, this toggle button will be able to handle three different tasks using single button so center will be one task left will be one task and right will be one task like in case in our case it's the leds so let's connect these leds with a pick so first of all as you know each led has two pin one longer and one shorter the longer is always the power and shorter is always the ground 
now guys to connect these leds with a pick we will need a 220 ohm resistor you can use any resistor from 100 to 500 ohm or you can use the higher values as well but the higher the value of the resistor the dimmer the led will go so 220 ohm is an ideal resistor now guys first of all connect one pin that is a longer pin of each led to the one end of the 220 ohm resistor like this now guys for the top led you connect it to any from the other end of this 220 ohm resistor you can connect it to any available digital input output pin that you are going to use i am going to use a pin number c4 for the top led for the center led i am going to use a d3 that is pin number 22 and for the bottom most led i am going to use a pin number 21 of the pick that is pin number d2 like this now guys for the shorter pin of each led just common them and send them to the common ground like this in this way our connections are completed now we will program the pick in such a way that whenever the toggle switch is on the left the left led will turn on when it is in the center the center led will turn on when on the right the right led will turn on and whatever the position is the toggle switch that led will turn on in this way i will demonstrate to you how we can use a three pin toggle switch to do three different tasks now guys let me first introduce you to the hardware before we move on to the programming so guys this over here is our hardware as you can see this is the three pin toggle switch as you can see and these are the three leds only three leds this this and this will be used left mid center so when the toggle switch will be on the left the left led turns on center center will turn on right the right will turn on simple as that so that's what, how i'm going to program this circuit so see as you can see on the body of the toggle switch as well it is on off on that's what you are going to need now guys let's move on to the micro c4 pick to get started with the programming now guys this over here is the micro c4 pick let me zoom in so you guys can see better this is vision 7.6.0 i will share the link to the video in which i had shown you how you can download and install this micro c4 pick for free full full version and uh, that will make your life easy so click on file new new project this window pops up new project wizard click on next write the name of the project i write three pin toggle switch tutorial by learning micro controllers that's the name i wrote you can write any name you prefer now pick 16 f double seven is the device i'm gonna use and 20 megahertz is a crystal i'm gonna use click on okay we have some problem in the name you cannot use normal okay you cannot start this with three i have to write an english three like this click on next and finish so our file is created now first of all what we have here is that we save our work press ctrl s the work is saved now go to the presentation or the circuit diagram that you have first of all take a look that at how many pins we need to initialize so first of all we initialize the signal pins that is c1 and c3 now go to the programming so i write here this c dot f1 equals to 1 sorry equals to 1 now here trace is the direction register c dot f1 c is the port f1 is the pin and one means it's an input like in case of arduino you use the pin mode command output and input in case of micro c it is a trace register and one means the pin has been declared as input and the button can be used here now initially we give some initial state like you then write the digital right high or low we give the initial state port c dot f1 equals to 0 why 0 because by default the button is sending a 1 or oh, sorry it is sending a 0 so we will give the initial state default state because always remember if the ground this 10 kilo ohm resistor the pull up or pull down resistor is at the grounding end then whenever the button is pressed a 1 will be sent so in our case when the button is triggered signal is triggered then the 1 is sent then the by default it must be 0 so by default it is 0 now we give some initialization delay it is not necessary but i always suggest you give it in the one time loop so our one signal pin is initialized this pin c1 now we initialize the other signal pin that is c3 so initialize this pin go to the programming just copy paste this because it will be exactly the same only the pin will change now that is what i was telling you that if you are using different pins or different microcontroller only you have to do is that you have to change this port and pin number so now it is c dot f3 port is same that is c pin is c dot f3 so the second signal pin is also initialized now we have three leds on the right okay this is c4 d3 and d2 
So, first of all we initialize the C4 LED. Okay, we have trace, I write trace C dot F4 equals to 0. Now, see the difference. Let me make it capital, so it looks presentable. See the difference. Here, it is uh, trace register is 1. 1 means it has been declared as input for the button. Now, we need to de 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 toggle the LED. So, the pin mill must be declared as output. So, it must be 0. So, initially the LED must be off. So, we give the initial state as well. So, it will be C dot F4 equals to 0. Now, also give the initialization delay here to just copy paste that. So, in this way our one pin is initialized. Now, just copy it twice for the other two pins. Only the port and the pin name will change. Okay. Now, let us check other two pins. What are the configurations? Okay. D3 is the middle LED. D2 is the bottom LED. D3 and D2. So, stress D3 equals to 0. Now, it is also port D. So, that is the port and the pin has been changed. And now, D2 port D dot F2, D dot F2. Okay. All three pins have been initialized successfully. Now, guys, what I do is that we need to do the programming now. Now, forever loop starts here. I write while 1. Here, the forever loop starts and here it will end. Okay, now guys, first of all, what I do is that I start from this side, I check if, if port C dot C dot F1 double equals to 1. That is the difference here. If the 10 kilo ohm resistor is the at the grounding end, then a 1 will be sent. If it was at the power end, then the 0 was to be sent. That is the difference. Then, what should, it should happen that it will turn on this LED. Okay. This LED will turn on. Now, this is what the, that it will be the left LED or the right LED depending upon the hardware. See, on the hardware, I cannot guess which LED will be the left and which will be the right. What you have to do is that you just run it if it is a left or right just do the changing or you can also make a schematic out of it that which is the left and which is the right depending upon the wiring. So, that is something you have to do with common sense. Okay, let me show you the programming. Okay, port D dot F2 equals to 1. Keep it on for 100 millisecond. That is fine. So, now else if else if if the button is not on the left then it might be on the that the it might be triggering the pin c dot f3 that is the other button pin this one it might be triggered it has become one so if this has become one then what it should do it should turn on the right led now the right led over here so this one is the left led and c4 is the right led so c port c dot f4 is now one now again copy this or else now else if both the above the conditions are not true like none of the signal pin has been triggered neither the left nor the right then what should happen neither c dot f1 that is our left uh, signal pin and this is the right signal pin none of them have been triggered then what should happen it means that else it is in the center only center pin is left then if it is in the center then the center led that is d dot f3 this will turn on so i write here d dot f3 becomes 1 and it remains on for 100 milliseconds and then again it will keep on looking for whichever the button pin is being turned on. Now, the problem is if this turns on then the other two LEDs must be off only one LED is on where the toggle pin is toggle button is. So, the rest of the two buttons have to be turned off. So, what I do is that I copy this this here and also the middle LED here like this and I turn them on because in case our button toggle button is on the left side then the only the left led is on rest of the two middle and the right led must be off now similarly copy this here paste it now here the c dot f4 is on just delete it this is on rest of the two are off see the middle c dot f4 is not the middle just make it look some presentable so it should be in the middle 
so it will be more presentable so now the toggle pin is on the right now the other led is is on and the rest of the two middle led and the other led are off now again i copy it now else now the middle led must be on if none of the pin has been triggered as a button so that is d dot f3 equals to 1 like this also make it uh, in a sequence like this so d dot f2 is on okay this should be in the center because it is the center led like this okay this is fine now what i do is that i build the code we see check for errors okay the code is built no errors now i write it i click on i go to okay pick it three programmer tool i also have a video on this how you can download and install it i will share the link to that video in the description as well click on import this is the file we just created click on write okay the new file is being written let me zoom out and we go to the hardware and to see what is happening okay let's go to the hardware okay let it write the new code okay it's written i power up the circuit using the picket 3 programmer 2 okay okay the toggle switch is on the right now i make it go center see it's on the center now it is on the left side see the other led turns on now that's what i was talking about this is about common sense we can simply invert the logic or you can invert the wiring i invert the wiring to make it go like exactly the same so just i have to do is that i have to shuffle these two pins to make it work okay it's done okay now take a look here see the center now it is on the right see it is on the right simple as that see now the toggle switch is in the center see now the toggle switch is on the left the left led turns on simple as that right middle center okay this wire is not connected okay it's connected center right middle left see simple right now the toggle switch is on the right now it's in the center and now it's on the left so the left led is on you can see that it is working as programmed as needed so guys this is how you can use a toggle switch to do various tasks in your project you will replace the led with the task see it's center it's right now again in the center now again on the left simple as that so guys this is it if you guys have any questions you can ask me in the comment section thank you very much for your time guys and have a nice day